What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is our anniversary actually. Oh my gosh, it's always so bright. Today is our anniversary. Six, six years together. It's a long time. Uh, obviously we can't really do much because you know, COVID. Uh, so we're trying to make the best of it, doing something today, I guess. Um, and I'm also, getting ready to laugh <clears throat> the yeah, the hard part is that our anniversary is also on the 4th of July. It's like double worse because if you go out at all today, it's going to be like super busy anywhere because you got all people who just like don't care about the virus coming into town. Uh, and we're in Austin. So it's like a destination that people go to. So yeah, there's basically like nothing we can do today. Uh, all the parks are parks are closed um the city city or the county the county closed down the parks uh before the weekend hit so that nobody could go to them um people are probably still gonna go but we're not really allowed to so basically like everything is closed down uh restaurants are starting to be closed down again but it's not safe to go to them anyways a lot are closing for the weekend yeah like haley's coffee shop literally closed for the weekend so that they wouldn't have to deal with the influx of people from out of town so we're gonna try to make today fun thought we'd vlog it we did it last year for our fifth year anniversary yeah so last year was a lot different but we're gonna try to make today fun we'll so put that clip here. Yeah. wait like right now like we'll put the, the link to that video why is this a link <laughs> i don't know where to touch because i can't see anything so it's just... put it right here right here okay so yeah hopefully today's gonna be a fun video stick around and find out i'm switching over to the small camera uh for two reasons one we're gonna try to bike to a coffee shop this is like Haley's, you like Haley, Haley like kind of like knows the person who like started it with some other people. people. Yeah, there's like a coffee community here. So Haley knows them. So we're going to go there, but we wanted to ride the bikes, which <laughs> I don't know. I think we made a YouTube video about this, but we bought bikes like forever ago, thinking that we were going to be these like super athletic biking people. <laughs> and well, they've just kind of been sitting here like just literally here so i'm gonna pull these out and we're gonna check these out so as you can see uh the handlebars are not um particularly straight and if i'm correct yeah the uh the tires aren't that uh that full these are also um, fixies, I think they're called. So like they're single speed, they don't have any uh, gears. It's literally just a single speed bike. That's, you know, it's okay for like city riding, which is exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're not gonna be doing any like crazy hills or anything, just pretty much straight riding. Um, so these are fine for that. We also got two of the same, just cause you know, easy to, easier to order from like the same place. Um, but also bikes are like basically impossible to come by now. So I'm kind of happy we have these. But the next step is going to be adjusting all this fixing all these parts and getting on, getting them, or getting the air filled. Making sure we're in good shape. Yeah, I, uh, people are gonna laugh because in Austin, like, biking is like a huge thing. So these are like, not very professional bikes compared to a lot of what people have. But we like never use them. <laughs> like we've literally rode them one time, wow. I think. I gotta adjust this. Camera. This was our setup from last night. We always move the foof chair in front of the TV, and it takes us forever to move it back because we're probably gonna watch another Harry Potter movie tonight. So yeah, we might as well just let it hang there. Okay, back to the little camera. Hopefully, this thing, the battery doesn't die. But we're gonna take the bikes now, or try to. We gotta go fill them up with air first. Though. I know I shouldn't wear this skirt, but I'm going to. No, well, you look good. I already changed, and I put too much <laughs> effort into it. Okay, we fully switched the iPhone because the other camera completely died. But we got the bikes working, kind of. <laughs> Those are ridiculous. There is no, uh, I don't even know what's insane. We fill the airs with tire. Wait, it's, we, we <laughs> fill the tires with it's air. It's really, really, really hot, so I don't know that we're going to ride. All the way? To the coffee shop? Let's just go for like a little ride. Let's ride like across the development okay. neighborhoods. Okay. The coffee shop's like a 20 minute ride, so I'd probably die on the way back. Okay. Let's just ride across the street then. I'm just gonna follow you wherever you go, and if it's like feeling really good, we can keep riding and go there, but if we're like dying, yeah. then we can turn around. Okay. This is really fun. I wish we had gears, but. Oh, I'm in some car, by the way. 
Okay, we just got done getting coffee. From Try Hard. I got cold brew with like uh, carbonated water, which is like super different. It's really sweet, so I don't know if there's like, there has to be something else in it. It can't just be cold brew. He said, um, it was cold I brew, can't remember what he called it. Cold brew, or it was coffee something. But coffee. It's, it's one of their specialty drinks here, so if you ask about it, they can uh, do it up. But Pretty good. Yeah, delicious. And then we got some we got tacos. tacos. Uh, definitely check out Try Hard if you're in Austin. They are um, new. They just opened this month, last last month. Yeah, just recently. Um, and they have like a full bakery, uh, tacos going on, and dang good coffee. Now we're gonna go home. So these are the tacos. Comes in a full like. That is just mm -hmm. insane for a taco. It comes literally in a full container with sauce. Let's check this out. Oh my gosh, look at that. Got your full, full avocado slice on there. Oh my God, oh wow, you are just, this is good. <laughs> so Brian is moving on to his second cup today. I think he's just excited because now he knows how to use the V60 pour over, kind of. Um, so I'm here for assistance and he is gonna try to make some iced coffee with it. What do you got going on so far? So, I have the ice, I have the grounds I'm in this thing. What are we brewing today? Coffee. What kind? Dog speed. From? Last track. So, next I'm going to... Got a little cheat sheet. Shh. <laughs> Based on what I remember, uh, I put 30 to 50 um, grams of water in increments up to 400. So do I do, I like wait? Yep, then you give it 40 seconds to bloom. Wait, but I, I have to add more. I'm saying do I? Oh yeah, you have to get to 70. Oh, get with the terms. Boom. There we, oh, right at 70. So just put that on the cup and the leftover will kind of like drain into it. You just set it down. And you're not just gonna drink it straight out of there so you probably need another cup. I was sniffing it like a <laughs> coffee connoisseur. Oh yeah? Just a little bit of mocha. I'm trying to get off the mocha thing. I'm trying to drink like normal coffee. And leave room for ice. Look how beautiful that is. Wow, good job. I'm so proud. I actually did pretty good. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with it not tasting terrible because I think I could have done more coffee, honestly. There's more in the fridge. I can't believe it's on the name. You're talking to him or me? Yeah. Oh. Okay, we decided to go for a little walk with Scrappy. It's like a million degrees out here though. Austin gets super hot. There's a there's a lizard. Oh my goodness. No, found you can't see it. No, there was a lizard right there. But Austin gets like super hot in the summer. So it's like 100 degrees every single day. Especially like right now for like two months, it'll be 100 degrees every day. Okay, it's too hot out here for this. It is pretty hot. <laughs> we just did a quick walk and we're going back because it is absurdly hot. Haley is, <laughs> um, <laughs> Bleaching a shirt in the sink. I, this is I what our day has come to. With this like bleach toilet bowl cleaner and we had some, so I was like, yeah, I'll try it. I don't know if Are you sure work. toilet bowl cleaner is gonna do it? Well, because this one is, oh. it's supposed to. Okay. I don't know how long I'm supposed to leave it like this. It just looks like you're putting like laundry detergent on it almost. This is definitely interesting. Oh my gosh, it did work. I it's think like, I went too heavy on the bleach. I think I might have changed the entire shirt's it, color. I, only, I see only very little dark brown anymore. I wasn't supposed to do all of it. Oh, see Daisy. Okay, I mean, I guess, yeah, try it. Well, I guess I do I leave? I'll rent it first. <laughs> I don't know. It's trial and error. Did you know there was going to be a DIY? Us either. It's this cool, is though. Just the stuff I do on a daily basis. <laughs> it's so strong. Yeah, maybe go. Oh my gosh. So Haley finished the shirt. Well, it's in the wash. Oh. It came out like normal. Oh, like, it looked pretty good actually. Get to the dryer. Although, look at our dryer. 
sorry, we're a little behind on laundry. Yeah, there's so much laundry there. So this is the shirt. And it did it already go through the wash? Yeah. It worked out with like I I thought the brighter stuff or like the bleach stuff was gonna be way worse or like way more like on the shirt, but it actually looks really nice. I'm really happy with it. I like that it's a Guinness shirt. That's kind of cool. Thanks. It's a large. I don't know if it'll fit you. We're going to go down to the pool now. Uh, I think I said this earlier in this video, maybe, or maybe like the last video we did. Our pool is having, or our apartment is having like a thing with the pool where you have to reserve spots online and there's only so many available. So that way there can only be max, I think like 10 or 15 people at the pool in the, like in the entire pool area at once. Um, so we got two of those spots for four o'clock. So we're gonna go down there. It's 100 degrees outside still, so I think it's gonna be perfect Yee. to do that. We're gonna go down there right now. Aww. Aww. We're gonna celebrate six years of love. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite pizza place? We're going to get Domino's. It is 5.30. I think we said this before, we've been watching all the Harry Potters, so we're gonna go get Domino's and watch Harry Potter. Holy. Did I get you? No. Did I get you? No. Howdy. So we're going to get Harry Potter, no, we're going to get, <laughs> we're going to get pizza to, to watch with while we eat. You, while know, we you eat know what Harry I'm trying Potter. to say. Um, so we are not a fancy couple to say the least. Um, well, we just, we we like. We like pizza and burgers and tacos. But I think the thing is that some people think like you have to, to like fancy foods for like special occasions, but it's like why spend like the extra time and money going somewhere fancy. There are some like... places, maybe not like fancy, but like a, oh, it's getting bright. Like a bar and grill type thing that we'd probably be going to. It wasn't for the current situation of the world, there are some places downtown that we'd probably be going. Um, you know where I'm thinking of, right? Probably Eureka. Eureka, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do miss that so place. So there are places. And there are a lot of places in our hometown that we like love and are like go-to staple, but we just haven't really found a ton of places like that. Well, I think I think in Austin too is a lot of places you go because it's like a city, they're more like, there's, there's like high-end stuff and then there's like not high-end stuff. There's nothing really like in between. And Although, I feel redonkulous. We were talking about calzones? Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a place right across the street. All this to say, we're going to get pizza. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh. We went to the pool. We didn't really show any footage because there was literally so many people there that we just like left. We weren't even, I don't even think we, we were. We weren't even there for an hour. Yeah, no. There were uh, so many people Technically there. you're not supposed to have guests right now and you have to reserve a seat per person. None of that. There were people in our seats. So we just kind of like put our stuff down and we were in a pool that there's like a few different sections of pools. We were in a pool that there was only one other like couple in on the other side. But the longer we sat there, the more people started like coming in and there was a really large group of people there. There were 14 um, people in one group. That weren't really like keeping to themselves. They started dispersing. So we just decided to they kept, like, be safe closer and to leave. Us. Um, <laughs> that was unfortunate, but. I'm trying to stay away from people. <laughs> what you gonna do? We're terrible at ending videos. We laid on the big foof, watched Harry Potter, and we then watched, watched Harry okay. Potter again. We finished it. And at one point I said, should I get the camera to end the vlog? And Brian was like, no. I was so tired, <laughs> I just want to lay down. But, we're gonna end the video now. That was our day. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Had a good six year as best we could basically in quarantine. So, now we're making pizza. Cool, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you, Keep going. We'll see you the next one. Up. Peace, bye.